think my story is uh, um, like a lot of people's story. In all reality, I had a uh, had a loving mother, you know, who, who cared a lot about me. Um, a father who didn't really have the discipline or the uh, the sense of responsibility to, to kind of to stick it out. I guess I just grew up kind of wondering what was out there, just what was going on in the world. Um, it didn't take long for me to, to get caught up in the lure of just um, all things that the urban culture provides, from gangs to um, drugs, even hip hop music, you know? Um, and so eventually, you know, that kind of led me down a, a dark path, uh, just trying to figure out what life meant outside of God. Um, I looked for meaning in everything other than God. Um, and women, and drugs, and um, just pleasure, and power, and possessions. And my search uh, led me to just a, a, a dark place, a, a depression of sorts, um, where I just cried out, like, God, where are you at? Who are you? If you're really here, if you really exist, I need some answers, I need some hope. Um, and, uh, and, and I felt that he, you know, he, he, he drew me unto himself. Man, they swear they so gangsta. Everyone the same. Everybody do the same stuff. Tattoos, pisses, smoking up and drinking. Money and sex, plus the mixed traffic and I make music and people embraced it. And I didn't know they would embrace it. And then um, I just wanted to put a, a hardcore gospel-centered message in my music. And, and, and people ate it and grew from it and, and, it, and it was bearing fruit. Um, and then as I traveled, I began to see people were excited about the music, but there was this disconnect between the music and life. If you live your life for anything other than the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a wasted one. Don't chase power, pleasure, or possessions. Pursue Jesus. That's it. It's all you got. And so. Uh, I, I, my, my burden is to see young people take their lives, their gifts, their talents, their treasures, their time, that they would go all out. I'm, I'm passionate, I'm definitely passionate about seeing the, the unlikely candidates um, come to faith and really flesh it out and have the world look at it like, what, how is this possible to where it's only a testimony of God? And so you see people coming to hear these artists um, who have been the outcasts of the world, who people don't expect much from, and you really begin to see the power of God. If you didn't know Christ, would your life look the same? Can they tell you value Jesus by the way you rep his name? Hey, what's the point of I get excited about that. I get excited about young people who are uh, prof not only professing Christ with their lips, but, but shouting it loud with their lives. And uh, this is it, man. It's, it's Christ or nothing. And uh, that's how valuable he is. That's how worthy he is. He's the resurrected king who died for us, who lived the life we couldn't live and died the death that we should have died. And he's, and he's that much valuable, so, you know, just give it all to him, you know? Go hard or go home. So here's my piece of time. I'm constantly trying to be used to praise the Christ. If he's truly raised to life, this news should change your life. And by his grace, you can put your faith in a place that rules your days and nights. Don't waste your life.